Hi guys and welcome to Scuba Tube, the new news and entertainment show from Simply Scuba, where we're going to be looking at the latest news as well as talking to some of the biggest brands in the industry right now. Later on I've got an interview from Tim from American Underwater Products, where we're going to be looking at some of their newest and uh, some of their new products that are coming for 2016. But first up, we've got the news. In recent news, Simply Scuba has just won the Diver Award for Best Retailer in the UK. Uh, now, first of all, a big thank you to everybody that voted for us. This is the seventh year running that you've voted us the best retailer. It means a big deal to us. It means that you recognize all the work and effort that we put into everything that we do for you. Um, again, a very big thank you. It does mean a lot to us. In other news, the, uh, the seventh Great Northern and UK BFA Pool Championships for Apnea are taking place on the 10th of April in Manchester. So if you're an avid freediver or apneist, then there's going to be a link below in the description where you can register to take part in the competition. In other news, Fourth Element have donated a whole range of gloves to the team at the Falmouth RNLI so that they can keep their hands warm in the cold waters when they're looking after everybody. The RNLI are very important to us as scuba divers around the coast of the UK to look after us from when, from when things go wrong. There's also been a, uh, a new Guinness World Record as part of the Put Cancer Under Pressure campaign. Christy Quill from, uh, from the America uh, took part in the longest open water salt water dive by a female. She spent a whopping 51 hours and 25 minutes underwater off the coast of California in a, uh, in a bid to raise some money and awareness for her cancer campaign. Very impressive work. And there's also a, uh, a bit of local news in the UK. A, uh, a BZAC diver, Mark Jeffrey, with a degenerative eye condition, is, uh, is still going scuba diving. And even though he can't see under the water, he's still taking amazing photographs. And there's gonna be a link below where you can see some of his shots. Earlier on, I spoke with Tim from American Underwater Products. Let's take a look at that. So with me today, I've got Tim from Oceanic. Hi, Tim. Oh, yeah. So um, many of you will recognize Tim from some of our previous uh, videos because you actually used to work for us, but now you work for Oceanic UK. Uh, so what do you kind of do in sort of Oceanic? Well, I do a lot of uh, web content and uh, media work, so mm -hmm. advertising or publications we put out um, for product details, things like that, for the UK, but also work with our regional teams in Europe and America sometimes. Cool, wow. So yeah, so you're real sort of IT, you get to see all the different products and you upload all their sort of websites. Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool, cool. So I see you've got some of the um, some products with you today. Some of them are brand new for 2016. Uh, others are sort of existing products with just sort of interesting features. Uh, let's have a look at some of the brand new products that you got with you for 2016. Sure. Um, well, today I've bought a new fin that we've got. It's called the Manta Ray. Cool. Uh, it's a completely new design for us, um, incorporating a lot of technologies from different types of fins. Mm. Um, so it, it's kind of a dynamic fin in that it works a similar sort of way to um, sort of standard blade fins as well as more advanced like hinge fins. Yep. Um, so it's very dynamic in the way it moves. Mm. Um, so as I say, it's a completely different shape for us, whereas we more of more of a traditional style normally. Yep. We've gone for more um, sort of natural curves sort of edged up at the size for uh, better water capture and things like that. Mm. Um, but the way it was designed really was to maximise thrust um, regardless of what type of fin it was. Yeah. Um, so it's we've called it a dynamic fin because it will uh, provide a much more uh, extended range of thrust area. Mm. So when you're kicking, obviously you only have certain angles where it will work properly. Yes. <clears throat> so when we're using this one, we've designed it to uh, extend that range. So certainly uh, a standard blade fin will have a smaller range of thrust. Sure. Um, and a hinged one will have a slightly different one where it starts to deform and goes out of shape. But this one goes as far as possible on the upwards and downwards strokes. So this is going to sort of increase your efficiency and almost reduce effort as well. So Massively, it's going to be yeah. much more comfortable in the water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's also very lightweight, as you can probably feel. Wow, it's true. So this is great for travel, um, very efficient in the water. I'd be quite happy using this in the UK though as well. Yeah, um, it feels nice and tough. Different types of water. Um, you've got spring heel straps. Yeah, a unique feature on here as well. Rather than it being different types of fin strap and sizes, sure. what we've done is uh, adjusted the strap mm -hmm. so you can actually pop out this little bit on the back. <laughs> 
and just inside you've got pins on either side. Sure. See so yeah, yeah. on that shaft there? Mm -hmm. You basically pull those out and the spring will move up and down and then you can reinsert the pins to that's the length clever. you want. Yeah, wow. Uh, so that's a nice easy adjustment. So if you want, if you do take it abroad, yeah. but you normally dive in the UK, obviously you might have a big heavy duty dry suit boot on. Sure. And you go to a really thin three mil booty or something like that, very easy to adjust it you without You don't need another pair of anything. fins. Yep. Clever. A uh, big loop on the back as well. So when they you are in the UK, God you might send. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a new <laughs> fin for us. Comes in a quite a wide variety of colours, different styles. Um, obviously the black and white one but it's going to be reds, yellows, um, different variations of white as well. Cool. So it's going to be a real um, improvement for our yeah. current fin range. Cool, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we'll keep our eyes out for that. Um, so another product you don't have with it today, but there is a video that we can have a look at. So let's have a look at that now. Yeah, we've got a new um, regulators coming out for Hollis, yep. and they are the LX range. Cool. Uh, it's going to be three different uh, regulators, it's going to be the 200, which is paired with a uh, new first stage, the DCX. Cool. And uh, so that'd be a top of the range one. There'd be a 150 ALX, which is kind of mid-range, uh, with an existing DC7 first stage, which yep. is a nice, small, compact first stage. Mm -hmm. And then the, the uh, entry one for the highest range on the LX will be the 100. Cool. Uh, which is kind of just a stripped-down version of it, basically, just yep. to make it lighter weight. More of a um, backup reg, if you like, if yeah. you have a stage or whatever. Yeah, stages and ponies, yeah. Uh, and that will <coughs> be on, again, a nice, small, uh, first stage, I'll deal for uh, stage and that sort of yeah, thing. Cool. Um, the LX range is again it's a completely new design for us. Uh, we've gone for a Aussie Hollis, very technical brand. Yep. Um, it's designed to be used for technical diving. Yep. Um, and it's uh, we've designed it so it could be interchangeable uh, in that you can be you reverse it very easily. Cool. Yep. So the whole insides can come out with a technician very easy, a few minutes stripped down, turn it over. It goes back in and goes back assembled and gets tested, uh, which is not something we've never done before. No, no. I mean, you do your um, sort of side vent uh, regulators, yep, 500 SE and, and whatnot. The SE. Um, but yeah, as far as a traditional second stage design, yeah, this will be your first um, left, right hand hose or indoor. That's right. Cool. Uh, and they all, they all do that because of the same sort of ha housing, so they can all be interchange very easily. Cool. Um, or the LX. Uh, the 200 LX will have uh, all the sort of things you would expect. Bells and whistles. Yeah, all, <laughs> uh, diver adjustable, everything as far as you can tell. Yep. Uh, new um, mouthpiece, much more comfortable. Cool. Uh, so there's loads of new features on them. Uh, they do look really good. Uh, the top of the range one, the 200 LX, comes with PVD coating as well yep. on both the first and second stages. So you nice. get that extra impact resistance on that as well. Cool. Um, so yeah, they're, they're going to be some good looking regs uh, coming up for 2016. Cool, looking forward to it. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at some of the current products. Uh, I okay. see you've got a uh, Sinear mask there. I do. So um, so this kind of hit the market well, just over a year ago. Yes. Um, Revolution, uh, Revolution uh, is the, um, the mask strap. Very, very different from what we um, sort of currently use. Yeah, we took inspiration from the skiing market essentially. Yeah. Um, because it is a uh, UV resistant, uh, very hard wearing elastic strap. Yeah. So rather than it being silicon, which is obviously it needs to be adjusted uh, to quite a precise fitting, sure. um, you can use it very simply just to adjustment on the back and because mm. it elasticated you don't have to get that fine tuning. Yeah, yeah, it's very comfortable. You've got a huge field of vision. I actually used one of these in Egypt last year. Um, and yeah, fantastic mask. Uh, around the skirt as well, you've got these sort of ribbed sections as well, which uh, along the skirt that just sort of spread the pressure around. It's very comfortable as well. It gives it extra strength, stops it rippling up when yeah. you're um, moving, especially when you're smiling. That's always lets water in. <laughs> um, so it just helps prevent that breaking of the seal essentially. Mm. Cool. And you've got a permanent yeah, snorkel yep. loop on there. Yeah, attached on <clears> there. So you can just slide it up. It's elasticated as well, so it fits over a lot of different things. Mm. Yeah, nice mask. Uh, doing really well for us. Uh, massive range of colours. Yes. Goes with um, <laughs> some other snorkel colours that we brought in as well through 2015. Yes. So it matches it up really nicely now. Cool, cool. Um, ultra clear glass as well, so. Makes it just that much nicer when you're looking in the water and it's more realistic yeah. colours. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. They're not being tinted out by the green of no. standard glass. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so you got the uh, the VTX computer as well. I do. So this is your sort of first color coded um, sort of LCD type screen. Um, yep. But there's a lot more to it than sort of originally sort of meets the eye. There's a lot of sort of almost social media stuff that you can do with it. Yeah, well. we've been working hard um, on the development of this and ongoing computers since they'll come out in the future. Cool. Um, <laughs> so this is our first OLED screen. Yep. Nice, bright, clear screens, as all OLEDs are. They are fantastic mm. um, little screens. Nice um, energy efficient screens as well. Not like the old TFT screens, yep. which used to die after half an hour. So, yeah, um, we also wanted to build in new features, yep. stuff that wasn't available elsewhere. Sure. Um, so we added on uh, Bluetooth. Yep. Bluetooth 4.0, uh, which allows it to connect to smartphones and smart devices. Clever. Um, so as soon as you come out from your dive, essentially you can connect it to your phone, do your dive log, yeah. and upload it. It saves it to the cloud, so it's always available on any device you connect your profile to. Sure. And you can share it to Facebook or anyone else, tag anyone else you went diving with. The future. Um, yeah, so it's, <laughs> it, it adds on a lot of new functions um, that aren't, wasn't available mm. at the time. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll just be progressing with those basically, adding it to new ones we've got in development and things That's like that. That's the way a lot of things seem to be going as well. And also more um, more natural user interface. Yes. It's not quite so complicated. No, as the... as, yeah, being an OLED screen, you can have a lot more flexibility about how you can move around the screen. Yeah, and not so many like, abbreviations. It's all spelled out for you. Yep. You can actually read yep. what it says. I don't says. know how well the camera will pick up on that, but you can see quite clearly big see. letters. Nice clear display, um, and it's just, it just makes the menu system really easy for when you're actually in the water. Yeah. Um, and it, as with all the other ones as well, it comes with uh, dual algorithm. Yep. So you can alter the way it will handle decompression. It's a very uh, handy feature. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, can, it can make diving much more flexible if you aren't diving with the same diver all the time. Yep. Because if you have uh, someone that's diving with another brand, you can match it very closely so you have the same dive profile. Yeah. So it's not going to penalise you for diving someone else's profile, yep. you can match their dive profile and it yep. will, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's another great feature. We also have on all our dive computers a uh, lifetime warranty if it's bought in the UK. Yep. So you can just register it online or with the office or with yourselves. Yep. And uh, as long as you get the battery changed by an authorised dealer such as yourself, uh, once a year, um, we supply a battery kit, yep. so that comes off the actual service charge, sure. and it will maintain your lifetime warranty for life, yep. As, yep. It, as the name suggests. Makes sense. Keep a fresh battery, but yeah, you're getting that free battery once a year. Yep. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so if it ever goes wrong, 20 years in the future, if it has a hardware fault, then you know, just call us up and that's it. That's incredible. Not many other manufacturers do that. <laughs> no, no, they really don't. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so what else have you got with you today? Well, I've also bought, um, I'll start with the smaller things. Sure. <laughs> the Hollis F2 fin. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been a great fin for us. Sure. It has been highly in demand. <laughs> um, and it's just a nice little um, sort of traveling fin, really. Mm. Because it's dual layer, it has increased surface area for its actual size. Yep. So you've got a lot, a lot more thrust area than a smaller, lightweight travel fin. Yeah, similar um, sized fin, yeah. So you're getting more propulsion, cool. essentially. If it was a full size fin, it would be very similar, mm. similar to that. Um, and we've done our own tests, um, obviously nothing horrendously scientific, <laughs> and I can't really say, oh, these ones are the best ever. Sure. <laughs> um, obviously they are though. Of course. But um, <laughs> we've done tests to sort of give some indication of propulsion, and they do stack up really well compared to full blown UK diving fins, you know, full length all the technology. Yeah, because these are super tough. It's all sort of single monoprene. Yep, single yep. mold. Yeah. Yeah, they're really well built. Very, very tough. Nice, decent tread on them. Um, and these sort of stand up almost against the um, the F1 fins. Yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the, the travel version. Of the that, lighter version, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, slightly different um, fin setup, uh, strap setup to mm -hmm. what we have done previously. It's very similar to what the Manta Ray has. Yes. Just a slightly more uh, basic version. Just you've got a couple of nuts and bolts. Yep. And you can just move the strap on either side. Just to make just it longer or shorter. Yeah, adjustment really. Cool. Yeah, so nice fin. Um, mm. 
we really like it. As I say, it's been really, really popular um, to the point where we've almost had some issues getting hold of them yeah. on occasions. Uh, that's, that's how popular they have been. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Certainly not going to argue. No. <laughs> um, yeah, just a unique fin, really, that we've really pleased we've done, really, because yes. no one else has really done it as far as I'm aware. So. No, not at all, no. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, I also bought our Hollis torches just yep. for just because really, more than yeah. anything else. <laughs> but really I bought them to say that uh, in the UK we've never sent them with uh, batteries. Sure, yep. Uh, but now we are. Okay, So That's there's good. a little bit of added value there because yep. the price hasn't changed. Um, so all, of, all <laughs> the batteries relevant for the torch are included. Mm -hmm. So the C cells in this particular one, the LED6, they're all included now. Cool. Uh, as long as we spare O-rings as well. That's know. very handy. Yep. yep. <clears throat> and they're all readily available batteries. They're sort of double A's, oh, yeah. A's and yeah. batteries. Oh yeah, triple A's in there, double A's in there, mm. and C cells in here. Yeah. So you can have, you know, pretty much anywhere in the world you can buy a set yeah. of batteries. But there's also a special deal on these for February only. There well, is, isn't yeah. There? So February this this year, um, you can get fifteen pounds off any of them. Cool. Um, off the retail price. Very handy. Which makes it a bit more appealing. Yeah. So if you're looking for a powerful, tough um, torch, have a look at the Hollis range of torches in February, uh, and you're going to get some money off of those. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, move on to the bigger stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll start with the HD 200. Yep. Um, we just wanted to bring it in because we like it, really. Yeah. <laughs> More than anything else. Um, it's just a really nice cross between recreational and technical. Um, yep. So you've got the technical side with the wing and open harness. Sure. But it has more recreational features, like it's got uh, integrated weights. Yep. So you can get your, your typical four or five kilos in each one of these pockets. Sure. And it's just got the quick releases, nice comfortable come and run, uh, but it's got more of a technical harness and that's got a standard cam. Yeah. Front, As you say, kind of a crossover. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, really well received, mm. really well built. So great for UK diving. Mm. It is such well built um, products. Yep. Thousand Denier Cordura. So really, material. really, really tough. Mm. Um, and just loads of functionality that you don't necessarily get on one or the other. Sure. Um, so just wanted to bring in and have a chat about that, really. Yeah, no, very, very tough BCD. Um, very, um, it's kind of one of the BCDs that people look at, but, um, but don't end up Sort of really spending too much time on they can yeah. almost gloss over it but actually there's a lot to this bcd um there's more than meets the eye as such i mean just here i can see behind the uh, the pocket sections you've got an extra d-ring that you can move around so that's great for um uh, sort of side mounting um, stage cylinders and whatnot yep um yeah plenty of d-rings to attach bits and bobs to um very very tough material so this is um, great for going in and out of just rough terrain um, very tough BCD. It's, it features a lot of the things that we bought over from the Hollis um, wing systems. Mm. Um, so it's got oval um, corrugated hose rather mm. than round, just gives it a slightly lower profile. Sure. Um, it's got trim weights at the back from more traditional um, uh, recreational BCs. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice, really nice blend across both of them, really. Yeah. Um, and again, it, it, it does really well and uh, deservedly so. It's a, it's a great BC for and what you, what you pay for it. Yeah. Um, so we're just really proud of it more than anything else. <laughs> yeah, it's a good looking BCD. Um, plenty of lift, so I'll be happy diving this in the UK and abroad, actually. Uh, it's not ridiculously heavy. I'd be happy um, putting that in a suitcase. Um, yeah. yeah. It makes a great travel thing as well, mm. because it is all one piece. Yeah. You can you know, just pick it up and take it diving, really. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I bought in our Atlas yep. from the Oceanic Range. Um, it is a fantastic value BC for what you get. Yeah, this is one of your newer BCDs. Yeah, it, it was at, <clears throat> previously it was at Atmos HD sure. and it was uh, given a facelift to bring it in, in line with our ongoing products really. Yep. But it was given a bit more of an overhaul than a, a standard facelift. Mm. Um, it's a hybrid uh, bladder, uh, so it's got a more of a um, wing type bladder at the back yeah. so when you're horizontal it keeps you that in that um, in that way so all the air floats to the top or the back of the BC mm. so it keeps you nice and trim 
yeah, you can see how all the air in the bladder is kind of collecting down here. So when you're horizontal in the water, yeah, it's going to keep you in that nice horizontal yep. position. Gives you as streamlined as possible. And obviously, mm. when you're on the surface, you have the extra buoyancy available in underneath the pockets as well. Mm. So you do what you can keep your head up, unlike a, a traditional wing style BC. Yes. <clears throat> and then that all just folds back. You've got a big elasticated panels at the sides, which just draw all that bladder back in. Sure, sure. So it keeps it out of the way. Mm. Um, but for the price, I mean, it's a lot of BC. Uh, Smart design. Yeah, lots of features. Nice, comfy back pad. Mm. Um, nice grad handle at the top. And the typical sort of fun functions you find, integrated weight, again, sort of four to five kilo in each pocket. Sure. Trim pockets at the back. Yep. Um, obviously, standard setup for harness. Um, the side harness is brought back slightly as well, and okay. that just helps us um, prevent the BC from rolling over the, the uh, diver. Yep. Um, so, lots of neat little features that you don't necessarily get in that sort of price bracket for, for the price of the BC. Yeah. So. Lovely. Yeah, again, that's just one of those ones I'm quite proud of. So. That's it. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, so um, you've got a couple um, just other videos that we're going to take a quick look at. Um, yeah, and we're just going to go through the, the Manta Ray and the, uh, the LX products just yep. so you can see what they're, they're going to look like. Cool. Um, gives you a bit of an idea. Also, they're just uh, renderings of the, of the products, but it will give you a real good What it's going to look like, yeah. how it's going to work. And yep. Okay, so let's take a quick look at those now. Okay. So the Hollis regulator, the LX range, uh, there's going to be three regulators. Uh, the 200, which is going to be the top of the range one. The 150, uh, which is going to be this mid-range um, sort of compromise between uh, entry level and uh, top of range. And then the entry level one, the 100, um, is more designed for backup and stage cylinders and that sort of thing. Um, just because it is, uh, it's not going to be a primary reg. Uh, so the 200 LX uh, is a really nice looking uh, regulator. As many bells and whistles as you could possibly think of. Um, full diver adjustment, it's got a Ventura adjustment, it's got your inhalation adjustment. But it, the, the key feature of it is that it's going to be reversible, which is not something we've done before. Uh, so you can get a technician um, to dissemble the, uh, the components inside and it basically just comes out, turns over, a few modifications to the actual barrel of the valve and it slides back in and it's a left hand to right hand conversion very very quickly. Which say is not something we've done before but it does allow much more um, configurable hose routing uh, for staging, uh, for twin cylinders, for any kind of setup really that you want, want to try. Um, so it's just something that we've never done before and we're really pleased that we've done it. Uh, it just looks really nice, uh, PVD coating, uh, so it's a real high impact uh, protection on your standard um, uh, compared to your standard chrome fit finishes. Uh, full metal barrel on the inside gives it a nice cold water rating. Also they're all CE approved for cold water anyway. Um, oxygen approved up to 40%, um, sort of standard features for that sort of thing. Uh, the 200LX also is matched with a new first stage uh, called the DCX, which again is a completely new design for us. Uh, it's more of an upright uh, barrel with a swivelling turret, so again it allows much more convenient hose routing uh, for whatever you want to do. Five high pressure ports and two, uh, sorry, five low pressure ports, two high pressure ports. Uh, it's kind of standard configuration these days, it just again allows more uh, convenient hose routing, but also the top turret um, low pressure is for the ultimate flow, so it comes straight out the first stage. The 150, uh, it's quite a slightly um, reduced spec, so it doesn't have the PVD coating on the second stage, um, doesn't have the diver inhalation adjustment, so it just makes it a slightly detuned version if you like, because you don't have that adjustment for yourself. Uh, and that's paired with our current DC7 first stage, which is a really nice compact um, inline diaphragm uh, design. So really high performing, uh, overbalanced, so it will actually improve the performance as deep as you go. And so that's the pair for the 150. Uh, again, reversible design, second stage. And then finally, the 100 is the simplest uh, version. Uh, it doesn't have all the nice finishing uh, on the outside. It's kind of a standard um, composite finish. Uh, but it's still reversible, still has that option if you want to um, change it from left to right. 
and that's paired with uh, a current DC2 uh, first stage and again that's a, a, a quite a compact fixed um, overbalanced uh, diaphragm first stage which is great for, uh, for stage cylinders um, because it is out of the way, keeps everything out of the way really. Uh, so that's the, the new range coming out, um, loads of new features, you, you really got to see it in the flesh to really appreciate the beauty of it, uh, completely new design, nothing we've done in it before, uh, yeah great little thing, real red range. Okay, so these are just a few of the uh, new products for 2016. Uh, it's always interesting to have a look at all the sort of new equipment that's coming in the new year. Um, thank you very much for coming along, Tim. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you. Um, if you want any more information about these latest products, there's going to be links in the descriptions below, so click on those to, uh, to read through them. And as always, all these products are going to be available through simplyscuba.com. For a list of the latest products from each of the suppliers, just click on the Just Arrived tab on the website. That's going to bring you the newest equipment that's available. In this part of the show, we're going to be having a look at some of your underwater clips. If you have any clips that you want to send us, you can use the hashtag ScubaTube on Twitter, or you can message us on Facebook or message us on YouTube with a link to your clips for us to have a look at. In the meantime, this month, we've got uh, one of our favorites, so let's take a look at that. Thanks for watching and safe diving.